Hello, everybody. Good evening. It's great to be in here in front of you again. And I am. I have some great news. Actually, as always, because uh, well, Skyway is all about great news, and then uh, so as as you have witnessed before as well, when I when I have uh, made a presentation, then uh, then the news that will arouse in our back offices as well that that they all describe our great achievement and uh, and new successes constantly so therefore i'm i'm proud and happy to present to you uh, present to you today this uh, webinar and uh, during during this half an hour we will we will see uh, some of the latest news of course because i thought that this time i will i will uh, give you the um, I will give you the news from 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 past few months. So most important ones, some delegations have been again in Innovation Center, and then what what uh, has Yunitsky said about the technology and the pros uh, of 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 the development of of this technology we have. So thank you again for coming, and we'll continue or we shall, shall begin. All right, my name is Michael, I'm from Estonia and I have been myself an investor and and a member of Skyward community for more than four years by now and it has been a great pleasure. It has been a great, uh, great pleasure to to be a member of Skyward community and, and an investor, and also a, a front speaker and and uh, conductor of these webinars. And I'm happy to share this information that I have gathered for uh, for so many years by now. And I'm happy to share it with you, of course. So, um, I think we. Can begin. Maybe a few things before we, we will start is that um, about myself. Just just um, not much, but uh, uh, some something maybe you should know is that I have been both in uh, in Belarus, uh, where is our first innovation uh, demonstration center, and I have been in United Arab Emirates as well, where is our second innovation center. So those both both uh, demonstration centers or innovation centers are made to demonstrate and certificate our uh, products, our technology, and it has been very successful. And I myself, I have also had chance to drive with a Unicom myself up high, about uh, 13 to 50 meters. So that was an awesome experience. And of course, I have, I have a chance to drive with a Unibus um, from a uh, lower height which which both these uh, events happened in in Ecofest, which uh, which took place 2019. So it has been a great great pleasure. And I remember when I started with the company, and I, I when I first heard he heard this um, well this information and saw these pictures from a magazine or from a brochure, uh, then I was uh, I was back I was. At, the, at that moment, I realized and was thinking that, oh my God, why it hasn't been here before? Because we and the world really needs this technology. And today I will share you the share you something which which will make you hopefully think the same. But all right, now the interaction is over, and let's begin with our uh, news section. So, first of all. Just a second here. I will, I don't, um, yes, no, it should be up any second now. It's just a second. Yes. So uh, we have gone uh, undergone the international financial audit, which is great news, and this audit is possible to find in your back offices so again if you yet do not have 
the back office uh, your own, then I certainly um, encourage you to do so. To open your back office and whoever the person was who invited you here or to the person who through who got this information and you're here now or listening to this uh, webinar, then um, ask that person to help you. I, I believe she or he gladly will help you to open your back office, do the verification process, then you will reach all these news. Um, there are basically um, hundreds or thousands of news dating back for and even more years. So you can uh, start from the very beginning up till this present day and you can you can see the process of it. So the, because this back office is the only uh, correct source of information that there is and then the, the most direct source so basically yes. so but what else there are all the documents there are the, there is the plan the business plan for for the company itself uh, about the dividends then it's possible to to invest also through your back office and all all the well the learnings and teachings are there how to do that as well so absolutely encourage encourage you to open your back office and if you have the back office just look at the options and then choices you have and what you can do there uh, also how to become an active partner for example and to benefit also from the success of the develop of the company yes but all right uh, back to the back to the new section so uh, uh, Sorry about the delay. Just couldn't see, but yes, basically the financial audit was done by a company with more than fifteen years of, uh, well, more than sorry, more than twenty years of regularly, well, basic branch that uh, did the financial audit for the company has been operating for more than twenty years and regularly holds leading position in the market of audit companies. That's a great news and yes uh, that's why i talked about the back office as well you can find the financial audit from from a back office so but let's continue then businessman from Kana. yes as you as you know we had this expo uh, 2020 which took place uh, last year until this year march and then basically during the expo and a little bit before and a little bit afterwards, well, until present day, actually, there have been tens of different delegations from all around the world. So, so from Africa, from Vietnam, from uh, India, for example, and, and many, many different uh, regions, uh, regions more from Europe, for example, and, and, and so on. So that's absolutely great, great. Uh, achievement that we are being introduced to many many really high members of different countries uh, all governments and so on businessmen for example and all these big investors as well so that's just amazing and let's see how it uh, well how it goes but um, I believe everything will go according to the plan also as Junitska said in the end of last year actually that we already have many uh, contracts signed for commercial projects so and that's also where the money starts will start to come for investors as, as well why activity of course because all the investors who are taking part at the moment and um, and uh, investing into the company and well they receive the mother company uh, shares basically the shares of the technology so wherever in the world the skyway will be built those uh will be mm, well they will 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 get the dividends from the profits of of the of the new tricks. but all right let's continue uh, anatoly niski uh, gave an interview about the the tender in Dubai, also about new transport and construction in Sasha. So I think I would like to a little bit tell you about it. And uh, first of all, I will put those uh, those all these three basic I make three topics. First of all, let's talk about the process of construction in Sasha. 
So basically the installation of 40, 60 intermediate supports and the construction of the first anchor support have been completed on the second line. So altogether, there will be four lines in, um, in such innovation center. The first line, as we already know, the 400 meter line is completely ready. And uh, our tropical unicar has been certified as well on the track structure with track structure itself as well. So that's great news. But to achieve much more greater speeds, for example, like uh, 100 kilometers per hour and 150 kilometers per hour on the track, uh, and types of uh, with different types of, of, of uh, models, then uh, then we need to have this longer distance um, structures there. So these other four, uh, sorry, three tracks will be. Uh, 2.4 kilometers long so that's that's great news but all right let's go back to the uh, so the second line 46 intermediate supports have been already uh, uh, installed and the foundation and the lower level of the concrete walls of the second angle support have also been laid and it's uh, it's planned to complete work in the end of uh, well in the autumn of 2022 all right, uh, then on the fourth line, the installation of eight intermediate supports has been completed as well as construction and engineering work on both anchor supports. So preparations are way for the installation of the track structure and anchor nodes have already also been installed and the connection of power supply has begun and it is planned to put this line into operation by the end of the year. So that's also great, great news. So a new model of passenger transport, that's the second topic under this news. So a new model of passenger stream transport has been developed at the production site in Belarus. And uh, this So the track will allow the model to accelerate up to 150 kilometers per hour. So basically that was what I was telling you before yes all right so the tender for the construction of tracks in dubai so that's very important because as you know these last two years we have been in this tender and we have this uh, cooperation agreement with the rta which is the road transport authority in dubai and all this time the preparation for the continuing And that first 30 companies from different countries applied for the project. And as a result, RTA experts selected only five companies and we are among those five, so the top five, so we're on leaders. But of course, as UNESCO also said <laughs> uh, in previous um, interviews, he said that we will continue fighting for the win, of course, but for example, Chinese, um, well, there is a Chinese production or, or, or uh, company from China as well there which said that they will pay for all the construction works themselves and later they will collect uh, money from the ticket so that's that's a new challenge there mm, so so I, as you see Chinese uh, are quite clever but let's see how this works because there is nothing similar like Skyway at the moment in the world and the UNESCO also has said that before that uh, we are ahead about we are 10 years ahead of our uh, possible com competition so that's all all very very great very great to know but then about the new high speed transport the new high speed transport is currently being signed which will surpass the existing model in terms of characteristics in particular we have improved the aerodynamics so that allowed basically to reach the design speed with a less powerful engine and as we know the design speed is up to 500 kilometers per hour so that is very amazing again to 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 see and witness quite soon that uh, how, how how skyway high speed transport goes 500 kilometers per hour on the track structure so that's very amazing and what is else the transport has uh, become more comfortable basically the new model has a toilet or vc in it and uh, yes so and uh, they have increased the capacity also to basically make a joint well 
um, joining the joint with several vehicles uh, together, so combining them together, so to increase the capacity to 40 passengers. So those are all great, great news. But let's continue. So there's more, and then we will uh, talk about technology itself as well. All right, and uh, next presentation, I'm, I will uh, mention that now. We won't talk about uh, news in the beginning, but if we have some time, then because next time we will focus more on the technology itself, I will talk to you all about all these uh, technological aspects and uh, about the economical aspects and so on. And, and in the end, if we have some time, we will talk about the new as well. But all right, Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi government considers string track projects, which is no surprise, of course, because uh, the Innovation Center is located in United Arab Emirates. So they must all there, at least the members who need to have heard have heard about our technology and it's only a matter of time when when somewhere in United Arab Emirates this skyology will be implemented. But yeah, the parties basically, Unitsky and uh, Abu Dhabi government, they discussed options for introducing the technology in the city. And they want to basically connect a well, different places, important places like a branch Louvre, a cruise terminal, and a, an amusement park. And well, there is well, it, it's it's for touristic attraction on the first site and uh, to transport people um, efficiently on the second hand. But the uh, Abu Dhabi uh, experts and government authorities authorities believe the string transport system is well suited to these tasks. And the tracks can be built without, which is very important to notice, can be built without changing the architecture or relocating utilities. And the transport will not harm the environment and will make travel more comfortable and safer. And a further important advantage is, of course, cost efficiency. It is much cheaper to introduce string transport than to build a tramway or an additional metro line. All these facts combined together that's the economical part of Skywind. That's also in our um, well, the main presentation is concluded there, included there. Sorry, and uh, and we will talk about that part um, more next time. But it's very important to notice that Skyway is much cheaper than all these transportation systems we know today. And it's not only it's cheaper, but it's also much more efficient. It's faster. It's con more convenient, it's safer because, well, the main idea is it's on the second level, so it does not collide with any of the obstacles or any of the vehicles or people on the first level, on the ground floor, so to say. So that's the main point of being safer. And there are many, many different points. There are actually seven, uh, seven, yes, seven main points, which I'm going to talk to you next time. But all right, uh, let's continue now let's see what we have here more yes the process of the track number two so I have some pictures here as well let me share this with you so the construction of the container terminal and container depot on the track continues at the testing center in Sarja and uh, now I'm, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the process of of the works on each of the facilities. So first of all, the container terminal, which you see on the slide as well at the moment. The main stages of the construction have been completed. The specialists have some finishing left to do, but this uh, work will only take place once the track structure has been installed. So basically not to damage the plaster and paint due to the lows during the tension of the rails. But Yes, the construction on the site, of course, takes place in accordance with environmental, sanitary, hygienic and fire protection requirements. And all materials are certified in the United Arab Emirates. So now let's move on. Let's move to the container depot. Yes, here it is. As you can see, the work goes on. Uh, and uh, the concrete works that went go, uh, are continuing and for example the preparations are on the way to install the roof and the anchor unit and in the in the future string rails will be attached to this structure and basically this container depot is intended for parking and repair of the freight transport and in the future it's also that 
well, this uh, this uh, certain um, depot atom here is is for for container. Sorry, this certain building here is for container depot uh, specifically. But in the future, when we have all these track structures around the world, so for unibuses, unicars, and so on, then they all have these depots there where basically we can maintenance um, or repair the the models on the track structure or they can just park there so whenever well basically it, I, I can describe it like this when there is a rush hour then uh, then most of the models that are parking parked in the depot otherwise those will be on the track structures to serve the people. And when the rush hour is gone or over, and uh, well, the, there are there are no there are much less passengers on on the stations, then most of those um, unicars, for example, or cars which were on the track before during the rush hour, those will go back to the their depot. So that means it will be very efficient again in in regards to energy costs or or or, or other costs all right but again there is no server let's go back to this slide there is no server and dispatch room here systems are managed from the service station on the first line so that's also great to notice all right let's see more i have a few more all right so the string transport attracted the interest of a representative of the indian ministry of tourism again great news from india and basically the representative of the indian ministry of tourism visited our site he was uh, shown the presentation they saw the well all these uh, technical aspects they did a test drive they saw the high speed model and they're very impressed by our technology so that's a great news all right let's see last but not least yes the national uh, is uh, a publisher of an articles uh, mm, a great publisher who, who has published our our technology before as well but this time they talked about where string tracks could be built in Nigeria and in the United Arab Emirates so basically they uh, mm, talked about the container carrier testing in, in such a is scheduled to begin in December 2022 or January 2023 and the 2.4 kilometer track will allow the vehicles to reach speeds up to 120 kilometers per hour. So basically, this one, what you see, this model, what this model, what you can see on the on the slide at the moment, this is Unicont, and Unicont. Mm, well, just imagine it goes up to 120 kilometers per hour. Sorry, I will take one sip of water. Yes, thank you. So basically, it goes on uh, up to 120 kilometers per hour. And well, if we compare it with trucks, for example, or ships or um, mm, trains, which carry mainly these sea containers, then that's about three or four times faster. That speed, speed would be with, uh, with our Unicont. And the another aspect is that we can press both in or both above the track structure. So on the track structure, as you can see on the slide, and below the track structure as well. So that's also twice as efficient as it would be with normal trains, for example, which go well one inner, well, on the one pair of, of the rails. So here on the one pair of the rails, we can use both sides of that rail. So that's also why this is great and unloading and uh, well mm, loading time and unloading time will be less than one minute so that's also very awesome all right and uh, now let's see where the track uh, tracks 
may be built, what the national said. And uh, one of the possible projects is a double track freight route from the port of Tinkan Island in Nigeria to the city of Lagos. And the 20 kilometer track will cost about 280 million US dollars. So that's about 14 million US dollars per kilometer. Again, that's very, very cheap comparing with trains, uh, train track uh, or tramway. For example, tra tramway is cost is about 20 million uh, US dollars per kilometer at the moment, at least here in Europe. So that's uh, that's uh, that's also amazing that we can we can uh, make or construct these tracks with so low cost. Then another route can connect Jebel Ali Port in the United Arab Emirates with Al Maktoum Airport, and uh, that would be a five kilometer line and would allow containers to be delivered in 15 minutes. Again, very, very amazing. But all right, I think that's it with our uh, news this time. Yes. So let's uh, take a look at now to the presentation. We will uh, see the first part, the introduction part. And next time I will tell you more about these uh, seven points I mentioned to you before, the seven reasons actually why Skyway is here to stay and why this will change the world. But those seven reasons for you to see them, you have to come to the next webinar or see the next webinar uh, yourself, which will take place exactly in two weeks. But all right, the introduction we will give you. So this slide here represents a vision of an artist who took the display, uh, to, who made this picture about 100 years ago, and this should be our nowadays. So the, the um, description of this picture was our future in 100 years. So this 100 years is now 2022, or around this, this year. But what I would like to describe with this, um, with this slide is that in, in the developed countries, we we have all these amazing technologies already implemented. We have these cars, now electrical cars. We have these scooter, bikes, trains, tramways, trolley buses. We have subways underground. So basically everything. But new challenges constantly arouse because people are coming to live in the cities. They come to work in the cities. The population grows and so on. So therefore, we the new challenges are here. But we just cannot tear down the old houses, buildings, the ancient buildings or the beautiful architecture just to widen our roads inside the city cities. So so that's that's not that's not possible. So for what I see, since we have the perfect first level infrastructure, we have this underground infrastructure, the only possible or the only reasonable and logical way is to go to the second level. And that's what Skyway is here to do, to take to the second level, to be on the supports. We can, uh, with Skyway, we can go even up, uh, up to up to 100 meters high, uh, 100 meters about the crown. So that's amazing. We can take, uh, for example, here, as you can see, the background is very mountainous. So we can go directly from point A to point B with our uh, attractions. The supports can be. Uh, after two kilometers, so they don't have to be after each 15 uh, meters or 25 meters like today we have with this monorails and different technologies, but those can be uh, after each one kilometer, two kilometers. That gives us great opportunities. It's very flexible and then and, and, and it's, it's otherwise it's, it's just amazing and brilliant technology. But here you can see humankind has done something similar before. Uh, has tried it uh, and are still using it. We are we are still using it. Uh, for example, this monorail on the right side. It's possible to see this in uh, United States, uh, in Dubai also. Mm, I will show another picture here. Yes, this is the monorail. Basically, in many many countries, it's already been placed. But all right, let's see now the comparison. Just because it's it's quite similar and maybe most of uh, widely used. Today, if, if you think about the second level transportation systems, of course, the, the cable car is also another one which is very widely used. 
but uh, the track structure already is limited with monorail the maximum speed is 70 kilometers per hour with cable car the, the maximum speed is only about 20 kilometers per hour usually it's 10 to 15 kilometers per hour and mainly for trick attraction not for serving purposes like taking cargo to and not that flexible as well it's it's as you can compare the track structures as well it's very massive comparing uh, with uh, UNISCO string transport uh, then with UNISCO string transport with Skyway we have uh, no drivers on board I think is uh, remotely controlled that's also great news then uh, and I believe what is most important here well of course the speed is important and the flexibility but what is very important, and I told you a little bit about it before as well, is the traffic interval and the traffic capacity. And since we are capable to, well, well, each lower, each unicar is capable of leaving the station after three seconds, that's maximum. Of course, we have to um, think about the people and then calculate the time that people need to get on board and off board. So that's why it's 20 to 50 seconds but after each 20 to 50 seconds another unibus or another unicar can start from the station so therefore again i will tell you this idea what i was describing before is that whenever we have rush hour the models that are in the station or located um, located in, in another place to for example to to repair them or or, or maintenance uh, maintenance them then those models which are on hold, basically on pause, those will come and start serving people. And whenever the rush hour is over, they can go back there to load, basically to charge the batteries. And, and, and that's why the traffic uh, capacity is also much higher with another other technologies. All right, but I think this is it for today. Thank you. You have been amazing. Uh, thank you all for coming today here to this webinar. And in the end, I always like to share this picture here where Dalai Lama gave his blessings to Dr. Anatoly Niski. And he said, Lina said that uh, it's, uh, it's not going to be an easy path for you which you have chosen but eventually you will succeed and really needs this technology of yours so and this technology of his uh, doesn't have to be only his he is the main of course the leader the main um, idea generator and then uh, but we all can be part of it we all can be uh, investors so therefore i urge you again to open your back offices and Take a look at all of the choices and, and possibilities there. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask from your, well, uh, the person who, who suggested, who, who guided you to this uh, information or from myself or just look it up from your back office. Everything is there as well. All right. See you already in two weeks, the same time. And then we will talk about the same reasons why Skyway is here to stay and why it will rock the world. So take care of you. Good evening and stay strong, stay healthy. And together we can achieve everything. All right. Goodbye.